Hello, I am back and I'm better. I've been listening to Bryson way too long. Hey, hey, but I'm gonna bust that plug anyway. I don't turn money down any day. I don't got no job. Okay, so I want to show you guys this little haul bag that my friend Rocio gave me for Christmas. It comes with all the Sephora favorites from 2015. I'm trying to show you guys quick before my battery dies because this battery takes fucking two hours to charge. This is what it looks like. These are the Sephora favorites that come inside of this bag. I love it. Let me show you guys what is inside real quick before my battery dies. Like I said, oh damn I forgot to put blush. Hold on. I forgot to put blush. One second. One second. One, one. It doesn't look kill my look. It probably is. But I want to use it. I want to try it. This is a tart in Pampered. Let's try it. First impressions. That is pigmented like a motherfucker. I've been sleeping on these Tarte blushes. They are so pigmented. I didn't even press the brush hard on my cheek and it got all the color on there. Very amazing. This. They are real sample mascara comes in here and this is benefit right yeah this is benefit and it's really really good for your lower lashes you guys will see the detailed look but this looks really good I won't use this for my top lashes because I use this one specifically for my lashes this is a Kat Von D lipstick in the color underage red and it is the best red color for my type of skin color it has a blue undertone so it makes your teeth look super super white without having to bleach him obviously you're not gonna see that it has blue undertones but look how bright this is this would look so freaking pretty on my skin I'm excited to wear that I also got the Smashbox primer water which I don't know what the fuzz is about I feel like it's just water and they just tell us it has something else but it really doesn't like Illuminati you know come on but you know what it's actually pretty good to spray on your beauty blender as you blend your foundations and stuff like that so it's pretty good I don't know if it's a primer per se I tried it on my face I don't see a difference Okay, my battery is dying. Holy shit. Okay, and then I got this. This changed my entire life. I've been waiting for this Too Faced chocolate bronzer, and this is in the color medium. Um, you need this in your life. If you don't have the Kat Von D palette or the Anastasia Beverly Hills thingy, get the Too Faced chocolate saddle. What I use to contour is a little too orange, and this one is a perfect cool bronzer to bronze your face. I love it. And... I use this on my inner lid right here. It's a very glittery eyeshadow from Urban Decay in the color Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. Holy shit, riding a cowboy, okay. This is sexual. It has a lot of fallout though, but nonetheless, it is a very shimmery. What kind of swatch was that? It's very pretty. What else is in here? Oh yeah, my Stila pen. It also came with this Stila, Stila. Estilla, I don't know how to pronounce it, Stilla Waterproof Eyeliner. This changed my whole eyeliner game completely. I mean, this really allows you to get in between right here. I still used my NYC liquid liner, but I went over it with this just to perfect the line. This is pretty fucking amazing. I love everything in here. Thank you, Rocio. Thank you. Okay, so on to this look and how I achieved it. I am going to start off by priming my face with Rimmel Fix and Perfect because that's cheap and it works. I am going to conceal my eyes with foundation. If you're wondering what's on my nails, it's hair dye. I've never actually tried any of these mist fix pluses type of products. So I don't know, I don't even know how to use this, but let's see. It says it's a photo finish primer water that you could apply after your primer, which I already did. Oh gosh, I feel like I feel like I'm getting come down or something. Is it on my face? I don't know. Let's move on. I'm using this color right here, which is a very gray, purpley color. We're gonna use that as our transition color. Can you see? Do you get it? It's gray instead of my usual orange transition color. I'm changing it up real quick. 
This is Embark by MAC and it is a very nice red dark brown color. I am going to take this on the outer corner. This is what I got so far. I still have a lot of blending to do but I got kind of tired because when I blend, I blend. The next step is to go in with a Jumbo pencil just so it could give the eyeshadow a base to grab onto. I usually apply glitter eyeshadows with my finger just because the pigment comes out more when you do this. Look at this. Wow. Now I could go over it with a brush and just pack it in. The thing I hate about these type of eyeshadows is all the fallout right here at the bottom. Either you're gonna cry or you're gonna slay. There is no in between with eyeliner. Look at how I finesse with the eyeliner. Just perfect work of art. I hope it doesn't burn my eyes because every high-end eyeliner burns my eyes like no other. I low-key feel it tingling. Wow, this is really taking my eyeliner to the next level with how precise the felt tip is. I could really get in there. I love this. I will suffer through the burning. I do not give a fuck. My eyes gonna be red as fuck. You don't know if I'm high. I use this or both. Probably both. But I am using the 832, which is way too white for me. And I am mixing the NC30 in MAC, which I hate. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I used to use this MAC makeup. It is so thick, so sticky. It doesn't come off. You need to wash your face about two times for all the foundation to come out. It's crazy. But I'm using it because, you know, I need to color correct this foundation, which is way too white for me. I'm looking over here just because I'm too lazy to look at the mirror. I am now dabbing the NC30. Do you see the difference? I'm saving it for a lot of things right now, okay? So, lighting. Y'all gonna have to deal with it or don't watch. Bye! I know you'll come back. I know you'll come back. Ain't nobody out there like me. Or is there? Tell me. Let me know who I should watch on YouTube that you guys think I would like. I want to see what you guys think I'm interested in. I actually don't watch a lot of makeup tutorials. That's not my forte. I like watching Vice documentaries, noisy. I like learning on hip hop culture. I like learning about the world. So I don't know, surprise me. What do you think I should watch? Let me know. This water is actually good to spray onto your sponge and then go in and blend. As you can see, I can dilute this very heavy sticky matte foundation <gasps> that was too thick. I am now gonna apply some eyelashes, and these are from the 99 cent store. I don't know how I feel about Purple Rain, but I love the song Never Forget. I am taking Saddle and running it under my eyes. So they are real mascara. Wow, that looks really good. Look at that, 99 cent store lashes and this. Wow. I'm just gonna go on with my regular contour routine. For the lips on this look, I am gonna outline my lips only to give it that effect of a, you know, old school chola, but modern times. And I am going to go in with Max Honey Love, which is one of my favorite nude colors. Mark my word, this style of lip is going to come back in 2016 or 2017. I am now taking this Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. It is in the color Snow Pink. Lip gloss is also coming back, guys. So get your lip glosses because your lip gloss better be popping. I am gonna take the eyeshadow and put it in my inner corner. It has a lot of fallout, that's what I don't like. 
I always go in in the end and just, you know, see what's missing. I add more depth to my eyes, for example, because these lights wash me the fuck out. And you guys can't see how my makeup really looks. It looks way better in person, you know. Gosh, ooh, that fucking hurts. My eyelids get irritated because I blend so much. Poor eyelids. All right, well, that is the look for today. I hope you guys liked my Sephora slash 99 Sensor Lashes. How do you guys like this look? Let me know. This lipstick, I'm bringing this trend back. If you see anybody wearing this lipstick, tag me the fuck in it and be like, she's Lulu is the one that started that. I don't look up so bad. Don't you feel so extra when you're chewing gum and you look like so good? Like, you're just like. I never know how to fix my hair. I'll just end up putting the hat probably, like always.